here is basically the essentials of your neural network. You have your neurons, you have your layers, you compute some loss by feeding the inputs forward through your network using the existing parameters of that network. Given this loss, you then train by updating your parameters using the gradient, which is efficiently calculated through an algorithm called backpropagation. These gradients are passed to an optimizer, which then updates your weights and you repeat this over and over in training. So now I want to show you how this looks in some PyTorch code. We just import some basic PyTorch libraries. And then we define our XOR data. And so don't be alarmed by this tensor here or what this looks like with these brackets and such. This is just a way to take our XOR table here and convert it into code. So remember, trues are one, false is zero. We see here we have X, which are the inputs, zero, zero, and then they have a corresponding output value. So we expect false, false to be false. They expect this and this to be true because these are our OR examples and then true, true is false. So this is just our input data as defined by the XOR table. Then in any PyTorch network, you have to define your network. And to do that in PyTorch, you inherit from this class here and then module. This does a lot of cool stuff behind the scenes for you. Then you, in your init function, define the actual architecture of your network. These represent the input and output connections for your layer. So here we have our linear layer, which means everything is linearly connected. And we have two input for four output neurons in this first layer. So that's the two input neurons to four output neurons. Then we then use the sigmoid activation function here, which is how we take our weights and biases and compute the actual neuron value. And then we do our second connection from our hidden layer of four to the output layer of one again, using the sigmoid function. You then have to define uh, a forward method, which in our case, since we're doing a sequential layer, it just returns the model basically because everything flows linearly in our network. In more advanced architectures, you could have other things happening here, but for our example, we just pass the model because we are using a feed forward network. Then we instantiate our model. We assign it a loss function. Remember here, we need to compute the loss. We can use any number of loss functions to measure the difference between the output of our network and the expected value. And so that's what this is. We then use or assign an optimizer function. In this case, it's SGD, which is stochastic gradient descent. We pass in the parameters from our model, which again are initialized randomly. So we don't know much in the beginning. And we pass in this value here, which is the learning rate. Now this is a hyperparameter, which you can tune after the fact, I have it here set to 0.1, which is good for this use case. Uh, there's methods for how to set hyperparameters, but we won't get into that today. And that here is basically the essentials of your neural network. You define the network. You define your activation function. You feed the data forward. You build your model, which you just did above. You assign a loss function, and then you optimize it by computing gradients, which PyTorch takes care of behind the scenes through something called Autograd. So it's constantly building that computationally efficient map to compute gradients so that you can then use it by your optimizer. And then once we have that, we go through what's called the training loop, where for some set number of epochs, which is a single pass through the entire data, we train. And training is just computing the output of our model as it currently stands, then getting the loss between the expected output which is our Y value and the actual output. And then we go backwards through our network to update our weights and biases. This optimizer zero grad just zeros out the gradients. We then compute the gradients with this backward function here using our loss. And remember the gradients tell us how much and in which direction to update the different parameters in our network. PyTorch abstracts away the process of backpropagation. So the computationally efficient way of computing these gradients is abstracted away from you. And then we call optimizer step, which actually takes those gradients and will update the parameters of our network. And then here we're just printing out the current loss during our training so we can watch it progress. And then here's just a little code to actually test the model at the end. Here, this torch.nograd says, don't bother computing gradients. I'm just actually going to run my model. And in this case, we pass in our input vector to the model and we get some predictions by rounding up the probability of our model's output. Uh, and then print it out on the screen. So with that, let's run the network. All 
All right, so as you can see here, our loss steadily decreased throughout the entire program. And these are our final predictions for the ore case. We predicted a one, we actually got a one. Nice job. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think in the comments. I enjoy doing these videos, but I'd love to hear from you. Are you interested in anything else? Or was there anything not clear in this video? Please let me know. Thanks so much.